with we need uh, some sort of pin to sew this to. I'm using a double pointed knitting needle, bent in half, we need a needle and thread, you need some scissors, and you need two fabrics. I'm using a satiny blue and um, silver lame. Uh, yay! So, um, this is really kind of janked up because I'm not really paying much attention. Uh, it's if I wanted it to be perfect, I could have pinned it, but it turns out okay, so I don't care. So basically, you want about four inches of fabric, um, you know, like top to bottom, and then from side to side, it just depends on how big you want it. So I cut the satin first, and then I cut the silver lame. I do use different scissors for the lame because that thread is metallic and it'll really dull your scissors and needles quick. And then you just basically cut some triangles um, of varying sizes. It doesn't need to be uniform. Yeah, so it looks kind of like monster teeth, I guess. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. But yeah, you just cut some triangles uh, out of both fabrics. I'd lie them one on top of the other because that seemed the quickest way. Um, yeah, and then you want to flip it over so the flat side is towards you and then move one fabric slightly over so that in between the teeth you get the other fabric so that you can see everything. Um, so it's like two rows of pointiness. Basically, it's two rows of pointiness. So, <laughs> Then you're just going to sew it. Uh, I sew four or five stitches and then run the fabric all the way down and gather it like you do a ruffle. Um, but yeah, and I gather as I go. Um, I tried sewing the whole thing, but you'd need a really long piece of thread and that's just silly. So I just do a couple gather, do a couple gather, do a couple gather. You get the gist. Um, yeah, basically we're making kind of a pom-pom. So here we are at the end of that, and um, yeah, once you get it all gathered onto your thread, uh, it's pretty. It looks kind of like a mum or a firework, maybe. I don't know. It's spiky. It's kind of like a sea urchin. But uh, yeah, you just want to flip it over and add a couple more stitches to uh, secure it so it doesn't fall apart on you. Um, the silver lame is a little more difficult to sew because, like I said, it does have metallic threads in it. So it's kind of like sewing metal a little bit, and it will really dull your needle. And sometimes I had a little problem getting it through there, but it, it works. Um, I really need to invest in a thimble. Any hoodles, once you've got that all done, um, you're going to retrieve the pin. Uh, or whatever it's, you're going to shove into your updos, um, and you're just going to sew it to that. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, you can sew it to a hair barrette, um, I suppose. I'm not much on barrettes uh, as a rule, though. So, uh, yeah, you pin works for me. Uh, you could probably hot glue it to the end of a hair stick if you want. Um, that would actually probably work really well, come to think of it. But, uh, you know, I had extra of these, uh, like, U-pin needle needles, so there we go. That's what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, it's TARDIS blue to me, um, and silver, because, well, I mean, the silver is left over from my TARDIS dress that I made that one time. Um, oh, and here's a little bit of video so you can see what it looks like when it's all done and in a hair style. Um, this hairstyle, by the way, will be tomorrow. Um, it's lopsided for an extra big hair toy. So yay, there you go.